Nimm meine Pfade, sie bedingen ihr Spirit des Sanktum. Amen. Also, two um, martyrs today, or like five martyrs today. Uh, one of them was King Canute in the 11th century, and then the others were a family, um, um, a husband and wife and their two sons uh, in the 3rd century, uh, early Christian martyrs. Um, but all were martyrs. <coughs> um, the first, King Canute, uh, he was the first uh, Danish monarch to be declared a saint. Um, uh, he was um, a king of Denmark, at one point king of England, king of like Norway, something else as well. Uh, he was very solicitous for the church, uh, promoting her interests, granted lands and built monasteries, built churches and passed laws requiring subjects to attend mass on holy days and Sundays and so on. Um, he actually mounted an expedition to drive William the Conqueror out of England, whom he regarded as a usurper, since he had a claim on the throne. Uh, but he never sailed due to internal problems in Denmark. He was uh, martyred or murdered in an uprising in 1086 in a church. He knelt by the altar immediately after having gone to confession and was there slain uh, in a church. Um, and um, uh, what assisted his uh, cause for canonization was that miracles happened at his grave afterwards. And so he was uh, uh, declared a saint and also a martyr. Uh, since it was primarily his um, uh, uh, promoting the interests of the church for which that uprising was occurring. Now the other, um, Maris, Martha, Audax, and Abacus, was a holy family, uh, all martyred for the faith, and uh, Maris, the father, was originally a member of the Persian nobility, uh, but he converted to the faith, distributed his fortune among the poor, and then they all came, uh, went to Rome to visit the tombs of the apostles. Uh, but there was a perse persecution going on at that time, and a number of Catholics had been apprehended and placed into an amphitheater where th they were then shot with arrows and their bodies burned. Uh, so Maris and his wife Martha and their two sons, Audax and Abacus, gathered the remains of these saints and buried their ashes with respect. Uh, for which act of piety they themselves were apprehended and refusing to deny their faith were tortured. Uh, the father Maris and his two sons were beheaded uh, while the mother Martha was drowned. Um, so uh, thus uh, the end of this holy family. Um, I, I would say that, that, that what both of these um, uh, stories have in common is uh, uh, kind of the unexpected nature of it. Um, it wasn't something that they, they, they knew was going to happen. Um, but they, they were ready. They were ready when martyrdom came. They were ready to give their lives because that's how they lived their lives. They lived their lives ready at any moment uh, for when God might ask them a heroic sacrifice. Um, I was just remembering, actually, I, 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 don't, I don't know if this is the forum for it, but I'll go ahead and relate this story. It's a story of when I remember way back in the, when I was in the Marine Corps. And uh, I was out training with some soldiers, and they were supposed to be keeping watch all night long. And uh, the, the duty of a lieutenant, which I was at the time, their platoon commander, you have to go out and make sure that your men are doing what they're supposed to do. You, you, you have to maintain, they, they, they make sure that they know that, you know, uh, that they're doing their jobs. So it's hard. It's hard to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning and go around and make sure everybody on watch is actually keeping watch. So I did that, and every single one of them was asleep. Right? And their excuse was, well, we're here in Camp Lejeune. Like, there's no enemy within a thousand miles. If this was real, if this was actual combat, we would take it seriously. And me, being a dumb, you know, new lieutenant, was like, oh, well, yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> um, well, guess what? Now, the, 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 less than a year later, we all went to Iraq. And we all were in the Battle of An-Nazaria. Um, and I can remember, like, hearing, you know, firefight going on in the city, uh, you know, it's right there, and, and I went asleep. I was so tired, we went up for days at a time. I didn't have the uh, discipline even to stay awake when my life depended on it. I mean, thanks be to God, obviously nothing happened, uh, but that was a lesson for me. That was a lesson that if you don't take it seriously when there is no enemy around, when the time comes and your life depends on it, you, you just might fail. And so that was a lesson, and I learned that. And, and later on, I went and I, I was um, um, training some, um, 
foreign military soldiers, and, and when, when, when they were supposed to be, were doing an exercise, and their men were supposed to be on watch, I got up, you know, two o'clock in the morning, I got up all the officers, and we all went, and we all checked the men, and made sure they were awake, and I told them that story. Um, so, I mean, what, what is the point of that? You don't know when the end is gonna be. What if you're gonna die tomorrow? What if God asks of you some heroic sacrifice tomorrow? And, you know, I haven't been fasting. I haven't been really praying. I, I, I really don't do any penance. I really haven't been giving alms. I really haven't been sacrificing anything of myself. Well, then when, when the time comes and God asks you to sacrifice everything, you won't be able to do it. You won't be prepared. If you don't live your life able, you know, to, to be a martyr at any moment, I, that, that really, that, you should think, okay, I've got work to do. I really have to work to be prepared when that time comes. What if this is the, what if these are the last da da days? What if these are the end times? You know, that, 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 that day will come like a thief in the night, Christ said. He said, you know, at the end times, ch the charity of many will grow cold. What was it that enabled the martyrs to give their lives? The burning love of God, Christ in their hearts, right? The charity will grow cold. Um, and, 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 but what, what is, the, that was in this, this very uh, um, gospel reading was about that, that very thing, the end times. But what's the final line of, that, of, of today's gospel reading? He who perseveres to the end shall be saved. Perseverance means you, 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 you have to be trying. You can't persevere if you're not trying, right? Perseverance means you are trying and you've been trying for a long time. Now, you don't have to be successful, right? Perseverance and success are two way different things. Perseverance, ask anybody who's failed a lot. They've persevered and they failed. So perseverance and failure go hand in hand many times. God does not ask us to be successful. He asks us to be faithful and to persevere. So it doesn't matter how bad you are at prayer, how bad you are at fasting, how bad you are at, at doing penance. It doesn't matter how bad or good you are. You have to be trying. Right? You have to say, okay, this is something I need to do. And even though I'm not good at it and I fail all the time, I'm going to keep trying because that's what God wants me to do. And then you can be assured, because again, we should think that it's not our own power. It wasn't by their own power that the saints become saints or that they become martyrs. God gives them the strength they need at the time. But why is God able to give them that strength? Because they're receptive to it, because they're trying. So that's all, that is all that God asks of us. He wants us to try and keep trying and fail and fail and fail. And then when that one moment comes, when it is that one time, God will be able to see that we succeed. He'll give us that grace and see us through because we're disposed to receive it because we're, we're open, right? We've been trying, we're open to that grace. So let us keep that in mind. Uh, let us not fear whatever happens, but be ready to give our lives at any moment uh, and every day. If we live our lives as martyrs every day, we won't have anything to fear. Uh, so um, all holy martyrs, pray for us. God bless you all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen.